Good morning YouTubers and welcome to another episode of the Dive Boat Build by Treasure Divers. You can catch all the latest episodes at YouTube forward slash Treasure Divers or our website which is treasuredivers.uk really simple to remember so it'd be great for your support thank you very much uh, right so how have we got on so far right so we're building the pontoons for the dive boat we've finished one uh, just to finish in the second one but what I want to show you today is the lids because each pontoon will have a lid on it and it'll all be bolted down so let's go and see how that's getting on now Right, so like I said, we're going to uh, be making lids for these pontoons. Now this is actually quite simple compared with what we have been doing. It's literally flat lamination uh, with some wood in it as well to strengthen it. And uh, it's nice and flat, so basically we've made a, a big flat piece, which is enough for both pontoons, and then we'll just cut it. So that's had one layer on it now of uh, 600 mat plus um, a gel coat obviously now unfortunately the only gel coat I could get which was free was a uh, British Racing Green because it was left over from a job and uh, they didn't need it anymore so and I'll take anything that's free so here we go so we've got gr we're gonna have green lids on these pontoons not not really my choice but you know beggars can't be choosers we're already running into like hundreds and hundreds of pounds so far on this uh, on this dive boat project. Plus my time, of course, it's taken me two weeks so far, solid. So two weeks of loss of earnings as well. Um, but anyway, so first coat's down, the first layer's down. The next thing to do is to cut the timber that's going to go in there, and then put another couple of layers on, and that'll be it. Right, here's the second pontoon. It's had all its glass layers done. Just needs the strengtheners. Just needs those three strengtheners in it. They'll be glassed in today and then I'll be able to break it out this afternoon. Right, so now what I'm doing is I'm glassing in the struts, the, um, the supports, things that make it a little bit uh, more rigid. So just simply glassing them in with some offcuts of uh, mat that we had left over. Right, so I've uh, finished glassing in all the support sections. It doesn't look pretty, but it's functional. It's going to be covered in foam anyway. Right, here we go. All the wood is glassed in. These uh, little things on top are just weights, just to hold it down. So that's it, that's the roof. That's the lids all laminated, ready. Just got to let them go off now. Let them dry. And then I can remove them from the table and trim them up. Right, the next job now is to uh, take all the shutter in off of the mould, take the mould apart, see how this second pontoon looks. Good morning YouTube! Um, right, we've got the... Uh, before I got here this morning, so I had to go and do something else this morning, but before I got here they, the guys here removed the um, the, the, the lid base that we were making um, on the table there, they've removed that for me. So all I've got to do is trim it up. And uh, here it is. Right, great news on the progress. Uh, here we go, we've got them both finished now, both pontoons. Uh, both finished and just about to cut out the the roofs, the lids. I'm going to cut the lids out and then uh, line it all up. Do 
it's taking shape. You can kind of see the dimensions of it now, if that makes sense. When it's all on paper and, and in a tape measure, you can't really tell until you actually see it. It's going to be a pretty good size. I mean, it's only four meters, and our other boat is four meters, but this has got a working area of four meters, whereas the other boat's probably got a working area of about half a meter. It's all usable space. I think that's going to be the benefit of it. Right, a bit more prog progression. We have me, I've cut the lids now. The, the lids were joined together in one sheet and now I've cut them. So now I can mark around underneath where the other flange is. Mark it all the way around, take it off again and then cut it. That way you'll get the flanges exactly the same. And then I'll polish them up. Right, as you can see by uh, the colour of me, uh, I've been cutting this, trimming them up, and they're all trimmed now. Uh, hopefully they should fit a bit better. And then I'll uh, polish them, make them up nice and shiny. And then think about where we're going to space the bolt holes to clamp it all the way around. Right guys, so this is exactly the width that the pontoons are going to be away from each other. So this is the actual size of the finished boat. This is what it's going to look like. And it's actually a lot bigger than I envisaged it which is great, plenty of deck space So the next stage, what I've tried to do here is just to just to cut and polish the gel coat finish so it looks a little bit nicer. Um, it's hard work actually, it's, it's, it was a textured surface on the mould so it's not coming up very well. But uh, we'll get it a little bit nicer anyway, it'll look nicer than it was. It's going to be protected anyway because the, the whole frame of the pontoon is going to come all the way over the tops so you'll be walking on a mesh floor from one side to the other this is going to be an absolutely fantastic size really really awesome I'm so looking forward to finishing this and diving it so really looking forward to the first dive on this new dive boat for treasure divers It's coming together, we'll be in the water soon. I'm not making a lot of sense, pretty tired, pretty hot. We're having a heat wave in the UK, which is a bit weird in itself. Only happens every 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> 